There are many creative and useful ways to reuse your used coffee grounds. Get ready, because here they come. Fertilize your garden. Coffee grounds are rich in nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, and other minerals that plants need to grow. You can sprinkle them on the soil around your plants or mix them with compost. Compost it for later. If you don't need fertilizer immediately, you can add coffee grounds to your compost pile. They will help decompose organic matter and improve the quality of your compost. Repel insects and pests. Coffee grounds contain compounds that are toxic to insects, such as caffeine and diterpenes. You can use them to deter ants, slugs, snails, and other pests from your garden or home. Just spread them around the area you want to protect. For plants, you can spread them on top of the soil. Be careful which plants you use them around as the high potassium and nitrogen content can change the pH of your soil in time, and some plants may suffer because of that. Neutralize odors. Coffee grounds can absorb and eliminate unpleasant smells from many areas in your home or work. You can place them in a bowl to use in your fridge or to help with paint fumes. Place coffee grounds in a clean sock or cheesecloth, or use the foot of old clean tights. These then can be placed in smelly shoes or hung in areas to relieve smells. You can rub used grounds on your hands to remove strong smells such as garlic, onion. Also, you can scrub your chopping board with grounds to remove strong smells before washing them. Clean your dishes and surfaces. Coffee grounds are abrasive and can help remove grease, stains, and dirt from your pots, pans, sinks, counters, and more. You can use them as a natural scrubbing agent, but be careful not to be too vigorous with the scrubbing as they will scratch. So use finer grinds and less elbow grease to avoid scratching. Have you learned something new? Then show some love by liking this video. And why not hit that subscribe button too? Exfoliate your skin. Coffee grounds can also help exfoliate your skin and remove dead cells, leaving it smooth and soft. You can make a simple body scrub by mixing coffee grounds with coconut oil, yogurt, or honey. Gently massage it on your skin and rinse it off, softening and shining hair. You can scrunch a handful of coffee grounds into wet hair before shampooing. Then massage your shampoo into your hair and rinse as normal. Ensure you thoroughly rinse your hair to get it all out. This can help remove product buildup, stimulate the scalp, and add shine to your hair. Make a natural dye. Coffee grounds can give a brown tint to fabrics, paper, eggs, and more. Use them to create a natural dye by boiling them in water. Use 100 G of coffee grounds per liter of water for a beige color. Reduce the water or increase the grounds for darker shades of browns and either add 300 ml of white vinegar per liter of water or you could add tablespoons of salt per liter of water instead of vinegar. These will help the dye stick to fabrics. Then, soak the item you want to dye in the solution for a few hours or overnight. You can also use the same dye to stain lighter untreated wood. Craft with them. Coffee grounds can also be used for various craft projects, such as making candles, soap, paper, jewelry, and more. You can use them to add texture, color, and aroma to your art creations. Grow mushrooms. You can use coffee grounds as a substrate to grow edible mushrooms, such as oyster, shiitake, or button mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms don't need sterilized grounds and are the easiest to grow. You will need to sterilize the grounds, inoculate them with mushroom spawn, and keep them in a humid and dark place. Clean your fireplace. You can use coffee grounds to weigh down the ashes in your fireplace and prevent them from flying around. Just sprinkle wet coffee grounds over the ashes, then scoop them up with a shovel or a dustpan. Tenderizing meat. You can use coffee grounds to tenderize and flavor your meat, especially tougher cuts like braising steak or brisket. Simply rub the coffee grounds onto the meat, use it with salt, pepper, and other spices, and let it marinate for a few hours or overnight. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Drop some thoughts in the comments below. Thanks again for hanging out.